Throughout the course, we'll be looking at details, how to beautifully polish cutlery, the importance of clean, crisp linen, a professional uniform, and an impeccable dining environment. But why do you think it's important to get this done at all? Why not just give the guest the dull cutlery and creased linen and wear an untidy uniform? We take care in these details because when guests visit our establishment, they want to have their senses enticed. Guests will delight in the sparkle of a crystal glass and feel welcomed by the warmth of a crackling fire. They will return again and again for dishes layered with flavor and texture and the complex aromas of exceptional wine. The opposite is also true. Guests are sure to feel unwelcome by an untidy uniform, no matter how big the smile. They will be disappointed instantly by a dirty window, no matter how beautiful the view. A dish might be unparalleled in flavor, but a guest won't touch it with a dirty fork. The best servers are those who understand this and who can put themselves in the guest's position. One way to do this is to think in terms of the guest's senses. So in this lesson, we'll be looking at the guest's five senses, what each is and why they're important. Sight, smell, hearing, touch, and taste. Let's begin with sight. Possibly the first impression the guest will form of your establishment is through sight, what they see. From the moment they arrive, the guest's sense of sight should be engaged through an overall impression of the beautiful environment. And once the guest is seated, they will start to notice the details. It is your responsibility to ensure that both their overall surroundings and the finer details are perfect and a delight to view. Think about a beautiful painting. When you stand a step away from it, the picture itself looks beautiful and you can see the whole thing. However, when you move very close and look at the detail, you see even more beauty in every single stroke of the brush. This is what you want your establishment to be like. Beautiful from overall and close up. For example, stand back to look at the overall dining area. Is the lighting adequate? Are the walls clean and undamaged? Does the floor shine? Then also zoom in on the smaller details. Check that there are no lipstick smudges or fingerprints on glass surfaces. No small spots or stains on fabric. Check that the paintings are not skew. After all, it's these details that make up the whole. Now we move on to smell. Smell is a delicate and subtle sense and consequently one that is often overlooked. However, it is incredibly important that you put yourself in the guest's position and imagine all the smells they will be experiencing. As you know, there will be the aromas of the dishes and beverages that you present to the guest. But there will also be other pleasant smells. The sweet scent of the flowers on the table, the waxy whiff of burning candles, and the subtle smell of a room that's been beautifully cleaned. On the other hand, there is nothing more unappetizing than an unpleasant smell when eating. While these could be seriously offensive smells, such as animal droppings or paint fumes, they are more often smells that are harder to detect initially, such as a napkin that doesn't smell fresh. Imagine taking a napkin to your mouth, only to be met by a foul odor. Other bad smells could be your own body odor or breath. For this reason, ensure that your hygiene is impeccable and check with a colleague if you're unsure of your own freshness. Check for bad smells well before guests are due to arrive. This way, if you do note any unpleasant smells, you have time to locate and fix the problem. Now let's talk about hearing. Sounds may not be something that guests pick up on immediately, but as the meal progresses, Noise can become very annoying and disruptive, ruining the whole dining experience. Think of the clattering of cutlery or the clashing of plates. 
but noises won't necessarily be loud and obvious. It might be a squeaky fan or interactions in the kitchen. It could be waiters walking over wooden floors or talking with a raised voice. Every effort should be made throughout service to ensure that unnecessary noise is eliminated. Can you please turn that down? This also includes the volume of your voice when speaking to guests and colleagues and how you move through the dining area. But then there are also soothing sounds. Music playing gently in the background. The crackling of a fire in winter. Or distinctive bird calls when surrounded by nature. These are the types of sounds that guests will enjoy and make them feel welcome. As with the other senses, preparation is key. Before service, put yourself in the guest's shoes and imagine all the things they might be hearing. If you notice something that could bother them, do something about it in advance. Similarly, during service, always use your ears to listen out for things which may be annoying or disturbing your guests. Now comes touch. Touch relates to everything we feel. We feel surfaces with our hands, but remember that we also feel with our whole body. This means that in service, touch also includes the guest's environment or sense of space, such as the temperature of the room and whether the dining area is spacious or cozy. The guest will be touching a number of things at your establishment. Imagine the guest's route through the dining area and imagine the surfaces they will be touching. There are a few that are plain to see. The doorknob must be shining. Napkins must be clean. The tablecloths crisp. Glassware clean and sparkling. But then there are also other surfaces they will be touching. The sides of their chair as they stand up. Or the bathroom door handle as they enter. No surface should be sticky, damaged or dirty. Then there is touch in the broader meaning. How the guest will feel in the space and environment around them. Is the dining area set at a comfortable temperature? Does the guest have enough space? Have the tables and chairs been arranged in such a way that guests and waiters can flow comfortably through the dining area? These are the types of questions you should ask yourself when investigating how the guest will experience touch. Lastly, we have taste. The sense of taste is one of the main reasons why guests visit your establishment. To eat flavorful food paired with beautiful beverages. The kitchen and bar are primarily responsible for ensuring that the dishes and drinks are exceptional. And you are the link between the guest and the kitchen. And so, you have a key role to play. One way in which you add to the guest's taste experience is through introducing them to the dishes. Your menu recommendations. How does this sound to you? Miss Park, may I recommend the slow cooked beef tongue with celeriac puree and whole grain mustard. The tongue is cooked for 14 hours, making it soft and tender. The crunch of the mustard contrasts beautifully with the creamy puree. Don't you already have an idea of how the dish will taste? Another key role you play in taste is ensuring that you deliver the guests dishes promptly and as the chef intended. It is your responsibility to check on guests after you have served them their meal, so that if the dish doesn't taste the way the guest expected or would like, you can fix the problem as soon as possible. As you can see, appealing to the guests five senses includes a number of different elements of service, from personal hygiene to setting a table to menu presentations and temperature control. And this also illustrates the approach you should take in serving your guests. It's not just about the job at hand, but also about the bigger picture. To recap, write down the five guest senses that you should bear in mind. You should have sight, smell, hearing, touch, and taste.